Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. <clears throat> Today, I'm just going to talk about the uh, message of, you know, always remembering your true purpose. All right. Always remembering your true purpose, especially if you were called into this ministry called into this work or if you're just a, a listener uh listen to the videos <clears throat> and are coming back to who you truly are being an israelite uh don't forget your true purpose on this earth right now man right it's not going to be your job it's not going to be a <laughs> so much of a family matters and issues especially for the man out there right we deal with that accordingly but the ultimate true purpose is serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. All right. That is the ultimate and true purpose. And the first scripture I'm going to get into is in the book of 2 Timothy 1 and 9. It says, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling. Right. When you go into that word holy, it really goes in this to, to, to separate, man. All right. You're separated. It says a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahweh Shai, right before the world began. So we are called according to his purpose. And we have to always remember that uh, with our actions. Uh, what not to do, what to do. Really, uh, really contemplate. And make sure that it aligns according to the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because he's gonna, he's always gonna show you the way, but the flesh is gonna constantly battle it. The flesh is gonna constantly fight against it, right? And that's not a good thing, especially the times we're coming into, man. The will of the Lord must be done. We must move according to His His purpose, man, not ours. Uh, from there. Let's keep going. Let's go into the book of Acts. I want to grab a little excerpt dealing with the uh, Apostle Paul. All right. Actually, I'm going to read up. This is Acts 9 and 11. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called Shrek, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul. All right. And this is speaking about the Apostle Paul. Saul of Tarshish, for behold, he prayeth and have seen a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he have done to the saints of Jerusalem. Right. So Paul, Saul persecuted the church. Right. Persecuted the believers. All right. But we're going to keep reading and see what uh, the Lord had in store for him. It says, and here he have authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, speaking unto Ananias, go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. So you got to understand <clears throat> that whatever you thought you were uh, going to do or whatever thoughts you that you have, you want to move this way and do this, accomplish that. If it's not within the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ultimately, that's not the correct way, right? And on the highest understanding, if you truly are part of the elect, and brothers can speak to this or testify to that matter, you thought you was going to do something, the Lord completely a redirected your ass, man, <laughs> to another lane, all right? Whatever you thought you was uh, a, a finna work towards, or accomplish, or uh, set out on this path, you know, hey, the Lord, hey, pull your ass right back and say, no, this is your purpose. This is what you need to be doing. This is what you need to be focusing on. Because within this flesh and within this modern day society, there's a lot of traps, man, right? <clears throat> there's a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of distractions, right? So we must always be uh, cognitive of remembering a the true purpose of being here, the true purpose uh, of being called and understanding this. And when the entire world don't understand this, 
right? It's to serve him and push this message until when? Until his return, right? Until the kingdom of heaven is set up. But from there, let's uh let's keep going. Let's go into uh let's grab this in Ephesians real quick. This is Ephesians one and four. It says, according <clears throat> as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai, right? Mashiach, to himself, according to his good pleasure of his will, right? So, once again, and you were chosen for a mission. You were chosen a, to do a job, man. <laughs> And we have to always, like I said, keep harping on that. Remember that. This is what this thing is about. Tap the check and a, see what you get. And a lot of people, uh, they, and a lot of people, or a lot of uh, guys get disillusioned with that, man. Not realizing that, hey, man, in your life, as we bring the scripture out all the time, is hid, right? <clears throat> hid with your high shy until he returns, man. And a lot of guys. He don't want to deal with that, okay? Because they feel like they're wasting their life, man. But this is your life. You're not wasting anything. You're actually on the right road, all right? You're actually on the right road. So <clears throat> making this, uh, like I said, I'm making this video, this lesson for an example, just to hey, always remember your purpose, always, man, because there's going to be manifold temptations, you know? Let's... Uh, Let's keep going. And now this Bible app got ads popping up, man. It's fucking fucking Satan. Uh, from there, let's grab Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? Right? So, <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I'm going to go do that. Hey, if the Lord will, as the scriptures say, allows us to do this, that, and the other, but the ultimate purpose is to serve him, man. <laughs> the ultimate purpose is to fulfill his will, whatever he has designed for you, all right, whatever position you're in, right, as a leader, as a, you know, a certain position in the church, some in higher authority, some in lower authority, whatever it may be, you still got to fulfill your purpose, man, okay? Uh, let me see if I got anything else. Uh, I'm ended off in Job, uh, just harping on, you know, people tell you, oh, you can do anything, you can go do this, you can go do that. If you truly chosen by the Lord, man, you're here to do his will, period. <laughs> you're here to do his will, and, and, and the world is not supposed to understand that. The world is not supposed to get that, right? The world is supposed to think, think uh, hey, believe you're crazy. Believe you're insane. Like, why is you doing, why are you, you know, you change. Why is you doing it this way? Why are you doing this? Right? <clears throat> but all that pressure, all that talk is just that. Talk, man. Because at the end of the day, hey, we see hey, the Lord working these prophecies, working these miracles, waking up individuals. The word is going out strong. All right? And we ultimately see the end coming. This is Job chapter 33 and 14. The Most High speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon man, and slumberings upon the bed. Then he openeth up the ears of man, and sealeth their instruction. Right? You know, and brothers can give accounts, like they woke up, and the Lord just gave them a lesson. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, something to ponder, something to do. But ultimately, it's all to fulfill his will, right? That's how you know hey, this this whole free will concept is is, is the ultimate illusion, man, right? Uh, verse 17, Job 33 and 17, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from his man. Uh, so lucky. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword, right? So the Lord got this uh, spirit on you, right? To pull you away from whatever you had going on in your mind to do the will of, of him. He's ultimately pulling you away from that pit. He's pulling you away from that sword, right? 
Because serving the Lord is the only way to make it, man. Having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the only way out of here. Okay? So you got to always remember that. And we're here to do the will and the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. Period. But that's the point. We're going to give our glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.